This is my response to week three, effective manager. Uh, I think this presentation start out from the beginning to the end, uh, put together really, really well to talk about the things that it takes to be an effective manager. And even at the end when it talked about uh, just reflecting on some of the things that an effective manager has done and has to do and uh, just making sure that they've done everything they can do. It started out in the beginning with uh, communication. The communication portion is probably the most important part in here because in the beginning, uh, when you're an administrator, you want to communicate to the faculty or to your peers. Uh, things like deadlines, uh, bus requests, and uh, like book lists and stuff like that. And you also want to communicate to the people that you're over, like custodians and uh, assistant principals and people in your department, uh, what their roles are, and things like that. And also talk about teamwork. Uh, I really like this part of it because it talks about uh, delegating team, delegating things out to other people and not just having everything left on the, uh, on the leader. Because uh, what, from my experience, uh, the administrators who normally delegate things out to other people uh, they're normally happy, and the people who just do things themselves, they're normally uh, they're not happy at all. And they normally don't get a chance to get around to evaluate everybody and to do other things because they're always trying to do everything uh, themselves. I can recall a time, uh, 2005, no, 2009, uh, I was asked to do the master schedule for the whole school because I was department head for the fine arts. And... Uh, from 2009 to 2014, I'm the one who did the uh, master schedule for the whole school. And uh, because he knew that I was organized and he was like, hey, do this. So I did it. So that was one thing he really didn't have to do uh, as an administrator and as the principal of the school. And that he really didn't have to do uh, to do anything for the fine arts because uh, everything was kind of handled. Uh, another thing that it can be related to is uh, your band program. Uh, I don't think the band director should do the attendance roster. That should be done by the section leaders and the drum major. That's how those two things relate. The other thing is uh, decision making and initiatives. Uh, I think everybody should be involved in the decision making uh, because that let the teachers and your peers and whoever under you buy into uh, what you're trying to get them to do. And uh, with decision making, some things are going to work and some things are not going to work. But it's still get them to buy into what you believe. Support. I really like this part of the presentation. Uh, support. Uh, an effective leader should attend everything. Concerts, baseball, basketball, everything. I can recall going to a, a state competition and uh, I look around in the sight reading room and my principal was actually there in the sight reading room at state competition and uh, he was really amazed by what was going on because it was a, the student's first time seeing a piece of music and reading through it kind of flawlessly. And I can recall another time where we needed a bus driver to go to MPA and our principal actually drove the bus for us to go to MPA. So he actually drove the bus up. He sat up there with us. So, I mean, I, I think that that was really great. And uh, when I saw him do that, uh, I was uh, the music appreciation teacher. Well, one of the music appreciation teachers at the school. So I got a chance to teach uh, probably like 65% of the school. It was a smaller school, like 900 students. But I got a chance to teach like 65% of the school in music appreciation. And I had a lot of athletes and stuff like that in, in the uh, class. So what I would do is, uh, if they had a basketball game and they asked me to come to the basketball game, I actually come. And uh, we had we had no other choice to be at the football game, but I would have done the same thing, uh, along with uh, track and volleyball. And those was my first time ever going to a track meet or volleyball game. But when I had concerts, we had like three or 400 people at the concert. And probably out of three or 400, uh, maybe 100 were athletes. So I think that that part is very important. Performance evaluations. Uh, everybody should be evaluated. And uh, the, the, uh, 
the administrators should teach or let the faculty know and the staff and the parents and the students know that uh, evaluation is just a part of the system and that's how we actually uh, make it through. Motivation. Uh, motivation. I think uh, administrators should motivate their peers and people who are around them. Motivation is probably one of the biggest things uh, that a lot of administrators lack at. Uh, I know around uh, festival time, everybody get really, really nervous. And I can recall a time where, where I just, I guess, it, I guess it is nerves. But I can recall a couple of times where, uh, you know, the principals know. So I just recall a time, it was like a week or two before festival. And uh, one of my principals came down and he was like, hey, you know, uh, just calm down, relax. Y'all gonna do well, you always do well. And it was just great hearing that coming from uh, the principal of the school. I can also recall a time where uh, we went to New York and placed like second in a state concert band, I mean a national concert band competition. And I uh, actually got a letter from the superintendent, which was really, really great, which is really great. And motivation is something that we like in the classroom as well. Uh, from taking Dr. Farley's class last semester, uh, it just uh, re-energized my brain about 80% uh, of your teaching should be positive and only 20% should be negative. So uh, if something improved, you should say good job. And the same thing with the band. You shouldn't just be a tyrant on the box and say, this is wrong, that's wrong, this wrong, that wrong. Uh, tools of management. Uh, this actually outlines everything uh, from beginning to end that make an effective manager. Planning, uh, organization, direction, cooperation, and uh, controlling, which I would probably say evaluating. But yeah, it outlines a lot. And it's, it's straightforward. Uh, conducting affairs of business. Uh, I really like that. Uh, Handling a piece of paper only once. <laughs> uh, I can just recall some times where uh, I had to take a piece of paper to a principal or uh, a request to a principal like four or five times because she would say, well, you have to put this on there, you have to put that on there. Then I go and put this and that on there. Then she's like, well, you didn't put this on there, even though she didn't tell me the first time. But I think if you outline everything or a sample or how everything is supposed to be, and I, I know that that will make everybody be on the same page. And the end of the presentation, uh, I like where it say, uh, what am I doing that really don't need to be done? I think that's what a lot of people go wrong at because they want to handle everything, just like the first part of the communication. And uh, I feel that this presentation was well put together and it coincides with what everything you do as a music educator, especially band director, chorus director, orchestra director. Uh, it goes along with what you're going to do if you do become administrator. Uh, I think it was well put together.